Swami Maheshwarananda, simply known as Swamiji, is a highly respected yogi guru who is considered as a living master in India and known throughout the whole world. From early childhood on, he was interested in meditation and the deeper understanding of consciousness and the hidden power of a human being. His uncle Paramhans Swami Madhavananda, who was his living teacher and master, guided him to strict yogic exercises and meditation. At the age of 17, Swamiji attained the state of self-realization. He described it as if suddenly thousands of suns arise within the self. No part of the consciousness is left in darkness anymore. Ever since that day, he is assisting as many people as possible around the world to reach the state of self-realization through the practice of yoga. According to Swamiji, yoga is not just a system of stretching and physical exercises to stay healthy and beautiful, like it is often presented in the Western world. Yoga leads us to an understanding of our oneness with all living beings and the whole of creation. It guides us to the power of our own inner light. Swamiji founded the scientific system Yoga in Daily Life to help people on their personal and spiritual path. Yoga in Daily Life is a holistic scientific system for the body, mind and soul. It has hundreds of centers around the world organized in a non-profit way to learn and to teach the correct way of ancient yoga that has been passed down from master to disciple for thousands of years. Swamiji has been travelling the last 46 years to bring the message of inner and outer peace into the world. Wherever he goes, people come to listen to his teachings and to create magnificent ceremonies to welcome and honour his presence. He is equally invited to private families and local communities as well as to significant conferences around the world. At the International Conference on Frontiers in Yoga Research and its Applications, the 21st Inkofira, he was invited as a guest of honour to speak about the benefits of yoga for every human being. That yoga is not something for the fakir. Yoga is not only for sitting in the keep but yoga is for everyone especially for the household together with his dear friend dr nagendra president of the swami vivekananda yoga university swamiji is aiming for scientific validation of yoga through constant research and practice I'm very happy because this has made a, such a brief the movement in the whole world. This yoga became now a part of the human life. So it will be great. It is a great not only for India, but for the whole world, for all humans. Yoga is the life for all of us. And the human life is given to practice yoga and achieve 
the final spiritual goal. The conference was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. In his official speech, Modi ji declared the urgent need for collective action involving everybody. Health professionals, policy makers, government organizations and industries need to work together to create a holistic and cost-effective healthcare system to the public. He highlighted the practice of yoga as a path to enduring long and lasting health. People are increasingly taking to yoga to redefine their lives, to find oneness between the inner self and outer world. Besides the political and scientific efforts of Swamiji, he also laid the foundation stone of a large-scale project called Om Ashram. Since 1990, this gigantic building is under construction with the main purpose of promoting the ancient Indian science of yoga and its invaluable spiritual treasure of Vedic culture. This center, located in Jadan, Rajasthan, is dedicated to the protection of all life, the environment and world peace. Once it is finished, the ecologically managed ashram can accommodate up to 500 yoga students for education in yoga, Sanskrit and philosophy. Technically, this gigantic building could be finished by 2018. But as the architect of the building, Swami Yogesh Puri said, as much as we are building it, it is building us. So, only the divine principle knows when exactly the project will be finished. There are endless ways of interpretations of what a master is. Every individual judges the personification of a master from his or her own personal belief system. In Sanskrit language, a teacher or master is called the guru. Gu means darkness and ru means light. It is the guru who leads from the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge. Many come to seek answers and blessings and consult Swamiji for his advice. Yet he is only reflecting back to us what we are ready to see.